Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to add keywords and find keywords uh, to your Google Ads account and campaign. And first off, why do we need to add keywords to our campaign? And the reason is we want our ads to show to certain target demographics, those being the people that search certain keywords. So if you know you're running HVAC, you want people to show up for people who are typing in HVAC installation or HVAC repair near me, whatever it is we want to show to those people. The other reason is we want to find keywords that one, have a high conversion rate and two, have enough search volume behind them. If you've ever run a campaign and noticed that uh, maybe there's not enough clicks or not enough impressions, chances are you just don't have enough keywords in the actual account and you're not going to get the clicks you need to optimize and have a successful campaign. So how do we start off uh, with adding keywords to our campaign? And what we're going to do is find our campaign we're going to add to. So for, for this one, we're going to go to pool installation. We're going to click on the ad group we want to add our keywords to. So fiberglass pools is the one we're going to add it to. And then we're going to click on keywords. Now, search keywords are the actual keywords we're going to be targeting. There's three different types of them. There's broad, phrase, and exact match. Now, there's a big difference between all three. Broad match will target absolutely anything related to this keyword. So if we type in fiberglass swimming pools, it could pop up for fiberglass swimming pool tips and tricks, fiberglass swimming pools, uh, companies hiring near me, anything remotely related to this keyword you are liable to pop up for. Now phrase match is a bit more constrictive in the sense that it won't target absolutely everything. The keyword actually has to be in the actual word, but it can target a lot of things related to the actual keyword. And Google has recently uh, updated its system. Phrase match is a lot more lenient than it used to be. Now, if it has anything kind of related or it means the same thing, you're liable to pop up for it. And we don't generally go with these uh, when running service based businesses. We like to stick to exact match. And exact match is essentially what phrase match used to be in the sense that anything uh, somewhat related to it. So if you type in HVAC installation near me, you're still liable to pop up for HVAC installation uh, around me, uh, near my uh, area, stuff like that that is very, very similar. You're still able to pop up for it, and it's very good, and we recommend using it. Uh, that being said, you're not going to pop up for like literally anything. We're not going to pop up for you know HVAC installation in New York City or um, South America, Asia, wherever it is, is very good at constricting it. With fiberglass pools and phrase match, it's a little bit too much, but if you need more search volume and you need ideas, I recommend adding phrase match into the actual campaign and it allows you to grow your actual search volume and maybe you'll get a few ideas and then you can switch it back to exact match later. Now, how do we find these keywords and how do we add them? Uh, we're going to go to tools and settings. We're going to hit the keyword planner. I'm just going to open this up in a new tab for sake of simplicity. And then we're going to actually come over here to the plus button. And we're going to click on this and it's going to pop up with a list of potential keywords we can actually come up with. One nice little thing here is say we're doing fiberglass pools. Uh, we can type in fiberglass pools and it's going to give you a nice list of ideas that you can actually add to your account. Uh, you can also type in a website, maybe your own website, and anything related to it, uh, Google's going to scan it and find keywords relevant to you, which is very nice. Now that our keyword planner is open, we're going to hit discover new keywords and we're going to geo-modify this for our area. So we're just going to target Hamilton and Toronto. These are two cities near us uh, in, ha uh, in, in Canada. And by geo-targeting and geo-modifying it, uh, we're going to restrict searches only to these areas, which is really, really nice. Uh, and it allows us to know if there's enough search volume in the area for this uh, particular campaign and if we should actually try going after it. So we're going to just type in fiberglass pool installation here as a keyword. We're going to hit get results. And as you can see, we have an average monthly searches of 10 to 100. That's not a lot, uh, but there are a lot of keywords relating to this, all 10 to 100. And if we pick a few of them, uh, we could definitely add up and get enough search volume to run a successful account. Yeah, maybe maybe a small to medium account, not a super large account, just because this is a, two smaller cities. Uh, but you should be able to run a decent size account with this. So as we can see here, we want to target keywords, uh, fiberglass in-ground pool installation. That's a great one. Anything related to cost, so cost, discount, cheap, anything like that, I do not go after. And this is because these individuals are looking for the cheapest available quote, cheapest product. Uh, however, they can get the lowest price, they're going to do that. 
And most of the time, these are not good leads. We want people who are just interested in pool installation. They're okay with you know a fair price for a fair uh, product. We don't want the absolute lowest uh, bid. And generally, these people are just gonna waste your time. They're not really worth going after. So again, I would stay away from price, cost, stuff like that. Anything to do with price right off the bat is generally a telltale sign that's, that that's someone you don't wanna go after. Another thing I would recommend is not going after competitors. I see this a lot where people want to steal competition. So say your competition is XYZ pool installation. You don't want to target XYZ pool installation in the attempt that you're going to steal clicks away from them. This is because most of the time when people click on your ad, you can still target uh, for the, their branded search terms or their company. But when people click on that, they're going to call them or they're going to call you and then they're going to figure out you're not them. And then they're going to get upset and hang up. And most of the time that just leads to wasted ad spend and you're going to waste a whole bunch of money. So I recommend go, not doing that. I generally don't see that work very well. You can pull it off in some e-commerce campaigns where the products are very, very similar. But if someone is typing in a branded search term, meaning they have a vested interest in that company, chances are they're not going to switch to you and it's just not worth going after. So I would go after keywords that show very high buying intent. So fiberglass pool installers near me, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste this uh, fiberglass pool construction good um pool cost nope and another thing you can do here is you can actually just select these uh i like just copying and pasting it because i find it easier but uh, you can actually hit this you can add them to an existing campaign so you'd have to just click on one and add it it's not very difficult so we could add let's do pool installation we're going to add this to the fiberglass pool ones and then you can change the actual match type so broad phrase exact match for this one we're going to do exact match and then you could do, and then you could do fiberglass in-ground pool installation here. Uh, da, 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 fiberglass swimming pool installation, and you could hit add keywords, and your keywords will now be added to this campaign. Uh, they'll pop up down here once this lo reloads as a page, which is a nice way to add them. I particularly just like adding. Uh, when it comes to exact match in one of two ways. One is actually just copying and pasting this to a list. I find it easier for whatever reason to do it that way. Uh, but if you want to just add them by copying and selecting them, you absolutely can. Uh, my way I recommend doing this is by actually just copying and pasting them, uh, putting them into the list up here. Now the question is how many keywords should we have in our actual campaign? And this is really unique to every single situation. If you have Keywords that relate to your ad copy, I would say add them. That's my general advice. If someone types in your keyword, so say they type in fiberglass pool installers near me, like we have here, and your ad pops up and it says fiberglass pool installation, look, get a free quote now, you know, book an assessment, whatever it is, as long as it is very relatable to that, uh, you should be fine adding it to your keyword list. If it has nothing to do with it, so say it's vinyl pool installation and you type in fiberglass pool installation, um, this, you should build out a new ad group. You should find, you know, a, you should create new ad copy for that and build it out into its own thing. This should have its own ad group. Um, and you should not add that to the actual keyword list, but anything that you could, uh, realistically, if you type that in and the ad popped up, you'd be content with that ad. Uh, you should add to the list. And that's generally how we go about doing that. Um, in terms of actually optimizing these, what you're going to have to do is get enough data into the account. And once you have around 10 clicks, if it has less than one click or one conversion, I generally say uh, get rid of it. That being said, uh, some campaigns, if you're getting you know, a 10% conversion rate, that is great. But for most service-based campaigns, we want at least a 20% conversion rate to stay profitable to get enough leads. Uh, but everyone's situation is unique. Usually I say if you have one or less conversions out of 10 clicks, generally turn the keyword off. Uh, if you have two or more, you're good to go. Keep the keyword in and uh, maybe even build out a new ad group to make the ad copy even more particular to that uh, specific keyword so you can have even better results. But that being said, that is how you're going to go about adding search keywords. If you want to actually add these, you're going to have to put brackets around them. There's a tool called AdWords Wrapper. So what you're going to do is copy and paste this. I really, I really like this tool because I'm just in the habit of copying and pasting things over. I don't really like manually or actually uh, clicking these and adding them in by the campaign for whatever reason. I just don't like doing it. Um, but I come over here to AdWords Wrapper. I hit Wrap Keywords. And then we scroll down to the exact match, which I recommend using for most service-based businesses. If you're in e-commerce, it's different. You can get away with broad match, phrase match. And generally, those are the actual tools to trade for it. Uh, but we're just going to paste this here. And now they've all pasted in 
phrase match or exact match. And if you're adding phrase match, exact match, or broad match, broad match, you just leave it without anything around it, the actual word. A phrase match, you're going to put parentheses around it, so those little quotations there. And then exact match, you're going to put actual brackets around it for the actual different match types. And then we're just going to hit save. And now our new keywords pop up in our account and everything's good to go. So that's how to add keywords to your account. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down in the comments section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.